All right, this is going to be chapter seven, one hundred percent. Sorry if you hear an echo, but uh, I do need to hear myself. So, or not myself. Uh, although I probably should. I need to hear the game because my game audio kind of took a crap last time I tried this. Anyway, um, so Skylanders needed for the most optimal route. I say most optimal because you're going to be shocked by what I say. You need Cinder, Stealth Up, and believe it or not, Wham Shell. Uh, your alternative to Wham Shell is Zap. I say that because Wham Shell's expensive, so. Not too expensive, but he's, he's a rare scum. Not a lot of people have. So. I would like to have an alternative. Alternative. I guess he's not really an alternative. I I'll tell you the whole alternative when I get there. We're gonna collect that Soul Gem. That's the only optimization we're gonna make for uh, collectibles. And getting the time in. Everything else is going to be done in the second playthrough. Uh, so here's some info about this 100%. First of all, in my opinion, I think this is the worst one for two reasons. Uh, one, you have to fight the boss fight twice, and that's because you can't. There's no warps, I guess. Well, kind of. The way the way this IL came out, you have to fight the boss fight twice. There's no other boss fight you have to fight twice. For the chaos fights. Uh, hopefully my audio doesn't do that again. Uh, so there's that. But also because this is the only, the only chapter in all of 100% that is split up for optimization purposes. It's literally only a second of time save, but because it's free, we're gonna do it. Uh, I'll explain the route. So. At, this is the first part you'll do in 100%. We do this in the IL anyway, because there's no warps to set up. Uh, or at least no fast warps. What the heck? See that? All the sharks just came out at me at once. That's funny. Um, what was this saying? Oh. Ooh, that's bad. If you get close to a shark, you lose half a second each, so that was not good. Well, around half a second. Um... So the routing is you start with the fast section of chapter seven. And after you do that, you go straight to chapter eight and do everything in chapter eight. Oh, I should have dashed. And then do everything in chapter nine. When you get to chapter 10, you do everything in chapter 10. But when you do the warp for chapter 10, you warp with Wham Shell. And then after you warp with Wham Shell, you go and do part two of chapter seven. So that is our optimization we make. It's a very small one. Uh, I guess I'll take the time to explain a little bit about the rest of this. So the reason we use Wham Shell, this is going to be kind of hard to explain up until you see the water gate, but there's two enemies in the middle that we need to kill. And there's three ways to kill them uh, for optimizations. One, you can manipulate the RNG. Wham Shell's faster. Uh, it's very rare to get good RNG. Or, I shouldn't say very rare, but... It's like maybe a one-fifth of a chance you kill them both with RNG manipulation. And there's like a 40% chance that one of them dies, in which case uh, it's near impossible to kill the other one without pulling out a special Skylander. You don't want to do that. So your second alternative is you zap, go to the water gate, and then after entering the water gate, switch to Cinder. Yes, Cinder could take out the enemies in the middle, but slowly, first of all. Second of all... Uh, she takes out enemies slowly, and there's going to be enemies we want to take out with Wham Shell because he has good DPS. But also there's a Habanero that turns around the corner, and it's impossible, well, for, as far as I know, impossible to hit with Cinder. Zap, Slam Bam, or Gilgram, which by the way, none of the three other Water Scoundrels can hit the enemies in the middle. Only Wham Shell can. Wham Shell with the Z attack on, I believe it needs a specific upgrade path, but... Uh, with the Z attack and hit the Habanero and kill him around the corner immediately. Very easily. If you're going to use Shell, which if you have him, please use him to your advantage. He's like an 8 to 12 second time save and way easier, so. When I say 8 to 12 seconds, it could be way more than that. Or it could at least end up being more than that. Um, so if you're going to use Shell, I strongly, strongly suggest you do all of the speed heroic challenges with him, if you have them. Uh, I believe somewhere you can find a dolphin emulator file that has all the heroic challenges. But anyway, uh, he's Wamsh is actually pretty fast, so you'll get to see. All right, so we beat the speed section and collected a soul gem. I'm switching to Wamsh now. 
So you're going to see all the wham shell strats. You'll see where I stop the wham shell. All right. So now we're going to be wham shell, and we're going to go across the water. We did it then so that we could save swap optimizations. And yes, we're going to do the boss fight again. <laughs> what fun. Uh, also, if you have the winged hat, I strongly suggest using that. When you get in the water, you can hit the B button and the Z button out in between presses, and uh, it'll speed you up in the water, which is a nice optimization. All right, so here's what I'm talking about, everything I'm talking about right here. Here's the enemies. We're going to go this way. Uh, before we kill these guys, we're going to get this hat. So as we... No, I said this was a hat. This chest, and as we collected the chest, we hit the Z button, kill the enemies. Very helpful. You get here. Okay, I missed. That's that's always fun. So, uh, don't miss. You're supposed to, before the Havanyar runs, you're supposed to hit the Z attack then. We'll just have to do it here. I didn't lose too much time to that, because he only dashed once. It's pretty hard to catch up to him with Cinder and other scholars, at least in my opinion. And either way, Whamshell's just going to be faster. I'm going to stay as Whamshell. Go through the teleporter, because it just warps you all the way over here, instead of having to go through the water. No, you cannot skip this. I literally just tried. Uh, <laughs> see, you're going to want to kill this guy with my shell because my shell is really good DPS. Uh, yes, I have all the heroics in them. That's how I got those crits, which is very nice. You're going to go over here. You're going to collect this. There is a cutscene here before you swap. While I'm here, I'm just going to take those guys out. And then switch to Cinder. And we'll use Cinder for more. I worked on Cinder's crit over before I did this run, which is always good to Anyway, so we gotta take those enemies out. There's gonna be two Nautiloids over here. Audio's cutting out again. What wonderful. So yeah, as you can tell, Cinder has really bad DPS. And we're just gonna have to live with that. Yeah, so we have to go all the way over here just to kill Havanyar. You can skip this guy's cutscene. You did fast enough? Ah, I didn't get it. Ah, shoot. You're supposed to dash up to him, and I just screwed that over. Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to dash up to him, but, um... Well, this is... This is not an alternative. There is a story scroll, though, so... You know what? Uh... I actually forgot that existed. <laughs> Oh shoot. I'm kinda glad I didn't continue yesterday's run. Holy crap. There's a storage ball. Oh no. And now you guys know never to take my advice again. Because I'm always gonna no matter what happens, I will always forget the storage scroll. <laughs> uh yes, there's a story scroll there. Don't forget it. Anyway, we're gonna take out these enemies. Our little ghost buddy's gonna help us out here. Ooh, wait. Hold on. We're gonna go up here. As we collect this chest, we can put those enemies on the ship. Okay. Man, thank goodness I messed up that habanero. You can still dash up to the habanero. In fact, you probably should. Uh, you're also supposed to dash up to this one and kill him. My goodness. Yeah, you, you, you still want to dash up to the habanero so that you can skip their cutscenes. It's six seconds long, so. You want to do that. Alright. So yeah, Cinder's DPS is bad. We're using Cinder so we can catch these enemies. Also to go over the water here. We're gonna go over the water here. Uh, where, where's the little thing? There he is. Come on. Okay, there's supposed to be a Leviathan out here. Excuse me. Come on. I'm so confused. Okay, there we go. And then you get the leisure treasure. You have to do it in that specific area. There's other areas with the Leviathan, yes. No, they do not have the legendary treasure. Alright. Yeah, this kind of sucks if anyone wants to beat it. Please feel free to. 
I just want to get chapter 7 over with at this point. I'm not doing any reduce unless I actually just miss something. This is the only one I was, like, kind of not looking forward to, honestly. Every other... I, and even still, it's pretty fun. For the, just for the sole sake of this being the only chapter we ever use Wham Show. By the way, fun fact. Uh, this is the last chapter we have a water gate in. So, we're hardly going to see... We're going to see Zap once in Chapter 17, and that's it. Uh, so we're going to skip the Auto Scroller again with Cinder. And from here, we're just going to switch to Stealth Elf. And we're going to finish the chapter with Enemy Count. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Story scroll, legendary treasure, three hats. No, three chests, one hat. Why am I calling chest hat? Hats. Yeah, it goes. Hopefully I don't miss the enemy count. Locotron wheel. Oh, wait. I forgot the Locotron wheel. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. So yes, boss fight a second time. We have to. Not much else to talk about then, I guess. Oh, maybe uh, the reason Zap has an alternative to Whamshell because Zap is faster. I guess I should explain that. Uh, not much else to say. And then after you, you enter the water gate, just switch to Cinder and stay a Cinder for the rest of it. Cinder's DBS is way worse though, but you'll have to deal, deal with it. Uh, we switched to Cinder after that Habanero because at that point DPS just, or at that point speed just does DPS. Cinder can still take out the enemies just much slower than Whamshell can. Whamshell is very good DPS in my opinion. Also, I think this is the first ever speedrun to use Whamshell. Oh no, that's not true. Uh, I think Pool used, or someone used. Uh, did a warp run with Mamshell. Yeah, Pooley used Mamshell for the Chapter 12 warp run just for fun. This is the first actually, like, optimal Mamshell. I mean, Mamshell is like, it's like there's no optimal character in that run. In this run, this is like, Mamshell is optimal. I think that's really neat. Uh, I, I don't want to say I do not suggest buying Mamshell. He's a really cool Skylander in my opinion, but, uh, if it's not worth the money, it's not worth the money. If you want to run this IL or run full 100%, it's, it's more so if you have them, use them. But, you know, I would not suggest, I would not suggest, like, searching for Wham shells. I mean, he's not too expensive. Expensive, what do you consider expensive? For me, I consider $15 expensive, but that's just me. I got mine from the thrift store, but uh, I wouldn't suggest just, like, oh, go get Wham shell, otherwise your runs are never going to be good. Uh, that's not true at all. In fact, you could beat this IL with that Wham Shell, I'm sure. But, you know. It's just, have him, you gotta use him. He's, he's really good for that gate. Alright, we're gonna finish this off. See if I get a double unload. Uh, I might get an unload here. Probably not. It, it usually makes you think of you. Yeah, like, that's what I thought. I might get one with Zap, though. Depends. Depends where he moves. Yeah. The water snap uh, unloads are pretty picky. Anyway, that's going to be it for Chapter 7. Thanks for watching. If uh, you're interested in running 100%, by all means, do it. Again, just fair warning, this isn't how it would look like in the full 100%, but full 100% soon, soonish, before the end of April, I'd say. All right, cool. Thank you.